Hi, Thomas Campbell, Second Swing, here with Jack Ulrich, uh, Ping Torvan Technician. Um, here to discuss some of the trends we've noticed with the new uh, G410 driver this year and Al an Alice Tech driver that's just kind of come out last couple of months. Just wonder if there's any trends that you've noticed. Sure, obviously we had a, a great product before with the G400 driver. We had a lot of success out here with that. Uh, with those drivers from the, the standard head to the LS Tech to the Max head as well. So um, the G410 has been just even that much better. So um, it's been a pretty easy transition. The first week we brought out the G410, uh, we had six or seven drivers go right in the, right in the bag. So uh, that told us a lot right from the get-go that this was going to be a really good product. And then now with the addition of the LS Tech, we just have another fitting option for the guys. Yep. Um, the 400 LS Tech was, again, very popular out here so now that we have the 410 LS Tech to be able to, to, to service those guys as well. The biggest thing is going to be the G410 obviously has the movable weight on the exterior of the club so we can move that weight whereas more towards the toe or the heel and it does affect ball flight whereas we might have to doctor it up a little bit more in the previous generation we actually yep. had to do more of the internal weighting so hot, hot yep. melt towards the toe or the heel um, sometimes a little bit towards the face. Yep. Um, we still do a little bit of that out here, but we can achieve a lot more of that by just putting the hot melt center and then letting that CG shifter is kind of what we call it out here. Um, putting it in that draw setting or the fade setting or neutral, and it's gonna give the guys the achieved ball flight that they want uh, without having to really doctor it up too much. Uh, and again, the benefit for consumers is that they now get that, that availability and that option to kind of fine tune at home um, basically get the tour van service in your own hands uh, and the guys do it out here just as well so what about the hosel settings so obviously the adjustability now to be able to be able to go flat setting is that being a popular trend for tour players obviously they don't like to miss it left yeah so for for most uh, right-handed players out here they, they obviously want to eliminate one side of the golf course uh, more often than not that tends to be the left side Yep. So being able to, to adjust the driver in that flat setting, we now have three more positions to be able to do that. And obviously you have the five settings, so you have eight settings total um, to be able to just use that, that flat setting and achieve uh, the flatter lie angle in the standard setting in, the, in a less loft and more loft. Just gives you that many more options to be able to, to get the right loft for a player and also uh, a little bit flatter just to eliminate that side of the golf course a little bit more easily. So. That along with the combination of putting that weight out on the toe, is that is that extreme or is that doing both at the same time or is that just kind of one or the other? Yeah, you know, absolutely. Yeah. That'd be, we, we, we don't see a lot of that. Yep. Um, you know, generally one of those is going to take care of, of a lot of that, but yep. certainly if, if a guy's really not wanting to, to miss it that way, then yeah, we'd use, utilize all, all the positions and put that weight out on the toe. And, put in the flattest we can go but yeah um, most of the time is going to be we use those settings to achieve the right loft and then um, if we need to go flat obviously we'll, we'll utilize that too okay what's been the feedback for the LST head versus the 410 plus head so far with it being pretty pretty new the LS tech's been introduced kind of halfway through the season yep. so um, maybe a little different introduction there but for the most part it's a little bit smaller shape obviously yep. built more on the footprint of the 400 LS tech so um, that's been an attractive thing for a lot of guys out here. Anytime you say a little bit smaller, sleeker profile, yep. um, a little bit less spin, uh, guys are going to want to try it, and it's new. So um, golfers are all the same. Anytime, anytime there's something new, everybody kind of wants to try it. But uh, the 410 Plus, uh, a lot of the guys that played the Max have kind of transitioned to the Plus. Yep. Uh, you obviously have just a little bit bigger footprint, so more forgiveness. Um, what we've seen is the LS Tech is, is extremely forgiving as well. Um, Definitely noticed that, yeah. You know, they both fly super straight. You got way more fitting options with the, the hosel adjustments and the, be able to move that weight uh, to the draw, the fade, or the neutral setting as well. But LS Tech, head to head with G400, LS Tech has been a home run. So um, pretty easy transition once yep. the guys have gotten it in our hands. And um, obviously just had our first win with it last week with Nate Lashley and the Rocket Mortgage. So It's uh, a pretty cool story. It's an uh, yeah, incredible it's pretty, story. Yeah. So uh, we're excited about it, you know. Uh, as we move along, we've gotten a lot more interest in, in both models and, and uh, gotten it in a lot of guys' hands, so yeah, it's been it's, awesome. It's been a great product for us, fitting-wise, at our tour van this year, too, so it's, it's been a home run.